What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Now as you guys clearly can notice it's a huge difference because last week I was finally able to get a haircut after months and months and months when the barber shops were closed. It looks kind of new actually for me as well to sit here and record with like such a short haircut because of course you guys have seen this shot and you guys have always been used to that so but aside from that guys I'm going to show you guys exactly in this video today how to properly make and edit these YouTube shorts in Vegas Pro 18 because actually a little while ago I made a video about what the shorts actually are you know what how they work and how you uh, need to be for example eligible and all that so if you guys have missed that video check out the link down in the description as well at the outro card that you can watch after this video to learn more about it so right after you guys have seen that video you can just come back to this one because right here in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to film yourself like vertically how to get the footage onto your computer and also just how to export it out because of course these videos have to like the proper resolution because they're not going to be like a standard 16 by 9 video so if you guys are excited for this video and if you want to know how to create these really really cool youtube shorts make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're here with the very first time watching so with that all the way guys let's go ahead and start creating these really really cool shorts right after the intro Alright guys, so as you can see right now, I am on a Google Drive, so I actually just placed this film from my camera roll or this video or this really short clip onto my Google Drive so that I can download it onto my computer. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit download at the very bottom. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, I'm just about to drag it into Vegas Pro and as you can see right now when I drop it into the preview, it's going to automatically adjust. So what I would actually recommend to do is to go and actually change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 because right now it is the opposite it is 1080 by 1920 so i'm going to click on this little wheel icon above the preview screen and then we're going to just fill in 1920 by 1080 and that's going to add in these black bars so right here as you can see right now this is just a clip right now if i play it back all right guys so as you can see right now this is myself filming on my iphone that we're going to use as a short now of course right now it looks very plain it doesn't really look that color all right, so that looks really, really cool. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to trim down this part where I'm just going to get ready for recording. So I'm just going to cut right here, right when I start talking. All right, guys. So right now I'm going to press S to split it. And then I'm going to just delete that part. I'm going to make it start right here, right away. So we're going to pretend that this is, of course, just going to be a regular video. For example, a short of, for example, a travel vlog or something else that you guys are editing or gaming. So right now, first of all, I'm going to also right click on this clip and then we're going to hit properties at the very bottom. So then we're going to also disable the resample just to make sure that frames will not be blending together. So now I think this one looks really, really cool, but it can actually use a little bit of color grading. So I'm going to go to the video effects tab and I actually cannot use any of my pre-made presets because these are made for my GH5 that I'm using right now as this big camera. So of course, this is not actually applicable to this clip. So I'm going to go to the video effects tab and I'm going to scroll down until we see the L from LUT filter. And I'm going to drag on the default so we can browse a little bit through. And oh guys, if you want to pick up my LUT filter pack for just a couple dollars, make sure to check out the link down in the description as well. So right here, this is the menu. So I'm going to make this guy a little bit smaller though, because it's actually a little bit too big. So then we, you guys can also see the preview of what we're doing. So right now, I'm going to place this guy aside. We can actually browse through the LUT filters, as you can see right here. And now if I just place my marker, for example, somewhere else, you can literally see that the colors are coming to life and how you can also just grade these. It looks really, really cool because if you have to do this, for example, on a video editing app, you 9 out of 10, you have to pay for these. But of course, the color grading on free apps are also pretty basic, but they can actually work quite well. So I think this one suits very, very nice. So if I uncheck it for a second, this is, of course, after and this is before. The colors actually look a lot more pure and a lot more colored. So now that we've done that right now, we're going to also add in some some music now this is just talking so i would just go and add in like a little bit of soft music as well okay so right now i just dragged in this ncs song so i'm going to just lower the opacity of the track just a little bit so it's not too overpowering now this is myself filming on my iphone that we're going to use as a short now of course right now it looks very it's still a little too loud so i'm going to also drag the opacity down just a little more now this is myself filming on my iphone that we're going to use as a short now of course right now it looks very plain it doesn't really look that color graded or anything like that 
So what we can also do is we can actually cut in this video and create jump cuts. So right here, I'm just going to cut away this little part of empty space. So I'm going to just click on here like that. I'm just going to delete it. So this is what it looks like right now. Created or anything like that. It doesn't have any music or background noise, anything like that. For example, sound effects either. So we're going to also edit this one in Vegas Pro 18, export it out. But this is just a really quick video that I have to film myself just in order to show you guys how to properly transfer the files. How to call another jump cut right here files, how to color grade, how to add in music, to export it out, add in text. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So that looks actually pretty cool. So I think it's not really needed to like, for example, put any kind of stickers on it because this video is not really made to be cartoony in a way. So I think the last one that I could do is maybe like add in some text, for example, or just a little arrow at the bottom right corner where it actually points to the subscribe button. So I'm going to download a transparent arrow for just a second on a Google right now. All right, guys. So this is the arrow, but of course we have to stretch it across the entire video. Otherwise it's going to appear somewhere throughout the video as well. So I'm going, then I'm going to resize this one. So how you do that is basically with anything you use, whether you use like an explosion or anything visual, like on the screen, you can go to this track motion icon on the left of that track. And then you see this white box. And of course you can like shrink it down. And then we're going to make sure that it will point to that subscribe button. So if I tilt it just a little bit, uh, just like this, but of course it needs to point in a different direction. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on flip vertical. So then it's going to point to the other side. I'm going to also tilt it just a little bit like that until it's pointing downwards. And then we're going to also just make it a little bit smaller as well, just to make sure, because right now, of course it looks small on the preview, but if we're going to look at this on our phone, full screen is going to look like really, really huge. So then I'm going to resize it just a little bit. And then I'm going to, for example, place it at the very bottom of the screen just like this so it actually points down but of course the over the subscribe button is not below the video it is on screen so don't place it here otherwise the subscribe button is or is around right here so i would just place it for example a little bit higher just like this so it actually points to the subscribe button as well so let's play it back all right guys so as you can see right now this is myself filming on my iphone that we're going to use as a short now of course right now it looks very plain it doesn't really look that color graded or anything like that it doesn't have any music or background noise anything like that for example sound effects either so we're going to also edit this one in vegas pro 18 export it out but this is just a really quick video that i have to film myself just in order to show you guys okay so as you can see right now this looks actually very very nice so the last thing that i would actually recommend is to use kind of like maybe like a vignette that will look really really cool or just use some transition for example to a different clip so what you can also do is you can create like a fade in for example like a really really nice one and then also for the arrow now that we've made a fade in for both of these clips right here as you can see we can go for example to the transitions tab and then we can like add in like this gradient wipe for example a star so if i drag him on both of them this is what it looks like all right guys so all right guys so is it all right, guys, so it that looks really, really cool. And of course, you can use any kind of transition you want, whether that's, for example, one of the Sapphire plugin, anything like that. All right, so this is actually very, very basic, but you guys, of course, can make it as really nice as, for example, as complex as one if you want to really make a nice edit out of this one. So for this one, I would actually keep it like this because this is 29 seconds, but you can use up to 60 seconds. So what we're going to do now is we're going to export it out and then I'm going to show you how to also get rid of these black bars. All right, guys, so now that we are ready for export, I want to mention that now we have to remove these black bars again because the thing is that we always use these black bars. For example, if you want to have like a white border around your your screen that you have these help lines for example or these help bars it's kind of as a template to see where you're looking at and what you're working in so of course we're going to also render this out without any of these bars we're going to render it out in a clean transparent part without any bars so right now i'm going to change the resolution back to how the phone resolution is so we're going to click on this icon above the preview screen and then we're going to click on width and we're going to fill in 1080 by 1920 hit apply and as you can see the bars disappear again and now you also need to use quicktime 7 as the render template instead of your regular mp4 so i'm going to select everything i'm going to render out like that so then we're going to click on file we're going to hit render as then we're going to pick quicktime 7 and then we're going to go to for example the standard one which is 3 mbps video we're going to hit customize template and here you have to change a couple things the frame rate we're going to change that one to 59 
9940 because it's filled, it's shot in 60 FPS. That's basically your FPS that you want to use. Then the frame size is we're going to put this one to custom frame size and we're going to fill in by the width. It's going to be 1080 and by the height, it's going to be 1920. And then of course, we're going to leave everything how it is right here. We're going to also go to audio. We're going to make sure that it's including audio. And then at the very end, it says project. We're going to hit video rendering quality. We're going to place that one to best. And then we're going to call this, for example, YouTube shorts exports templates then we're going to hit on this diskat icon and now we're going to go ahead and hit our preset i'm going to give this a name for example youtube shorts and now we're going to hit render and as you can see right now it is exporting in a really really nice transparent way vertically for on your phone so the last thing that we need to do is wait until until this one is finished rendering and then we can upload this one onto the same google drive folder that we were right here on our computer which is this one and then we can just export it out upload it here in this folder and then access this folder on our phone to download it onto our youtube so we can download it onto our so we can download it onto our phone and that's basically how you can upload it straight directly onto YouTube Shorts. All right guys, so the file is finished exporting. So I'm just going to drag that right here into my clip. It is completely transparent. And now it is uploading at the very bottom, YouTube Shorts clip one. And we can just go onto your phone, into the Google Drive app, download that clip, and then you can just go straight onto YouTube, hit uploads, create shorts, and upload the one from your camera roll. And that is basically how to make these really cool shorts on the Vegas Pro 18, make it a little bit more advanced than just the standard editor with like the music and all that. It is finished uploading as you can see right here it's really really cool and that is basically how to do it of course i would love to show you guys how to actually upload these but of course the feature isn't available in belgium yet so that's why i can't show it but right here, I'll overlay a little clip from the previous video about the shorts. How you go ahead and do that, just open up the app. You want to hit this plus icon, and then you can just hit create a short. And then you can create it or film it or just upload it from your camera roll. And that is basically how cool and simple it is. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. This is how you create these really cool shorts in Vegas Pro 18 with like color grading and music and sound effects to make it really, really cool instead of just basic with, for example, the YouTube editor. So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to reward with a like down below also subscribe if you want to see more of these videos like you know separate ones about like the new feature that youtube is rolling out because this one is actually a pretty recent one because this feature is actually from september 2020 by the way if you want to see the video what the shorts actually are what i showed you guys today what to edit make sure to check out the outro card at the end of the video thanks a lot for your continued support guys i'll see you guys obviously in the next video